Plato once said that it's easy to forgive a child for being afraid of the dark, but the real tragedy of life is when men become afraid of the light. Now, this really holds true for non-Muslims and for Muslims when it comes to Islam and God's existence. Many times, we turn away from God and Islam, not because we don't acknowledge they're the truth or that we, we, we believe they're wrong, but it's because we're afraid. And the fear is that when we step out into the light, our sins, our weaknesses will be exposed. We'll have to let go of things that we have come to love in this world. But that's not the case. We have to remove this misconception from our minds because Islam, God doesn't require perfection from you. He requires sincere, consistent effort. That's all that's required from us human beings. You know, we have this misconception, many non-Muslims have this misconception that we have to become perfect before we turn to our Creator and acknowledge Him. And hence, many non-Muslims don't accept Islam just because of this reason. Don't let that be a barrier. Remove that. Remember the key is to turn to your Creator, to acknowledge Him, to get to know Him and start to worship Him and do that to the best of your ability. It's not about perfection. It's not about being perfect as far as you know, your, your life is concerned and that you're not engaged in any sins or doing anything bad. No. If you turn to your Creator, you sincerely try to do the best you can in regards to worshipping Him and bettering yourself, Allah, God will help you be better. He will help you turn away from those sins and those bad things and over time refine you as a human being. Remember, that's what life is about. It's about putting in the effort and trying to do good things every single day trying to be better than the previous day. That's the key. Not to be perfect. So don't let these things hold you back from Islam. And for Muslims, just a piece of advice for all of us, that sometimes we turn away from Allah because we're engaged in sins that we become used to and that we find very hard to let go of. And the easiest thing for us in that situation when we're experiencing this cognitive dissonance is, well, let's turn away from God. Let's turn away from Allah and just carry on with the sin. That sort of gives you a type of temporary false sense of peace of mind. But that's, that's not going to help you in the long run. That will lead to our destruction. Don't turn away from Allah. What does Allah say? Do not despair in the mercy of Allah. Allah forgives all sins. Turn to your Creator. He's the most merciful, the most loving, the most compassionate, the one that wants best for us. So, so don't worry if you're engaged in things that you can't let go of right now. As long as you're sincere and you're trying, that's what matters. Allah loves you. Allah loves you more than your own mothers love you. I mean, who are we fooling? Why are we deluding ourselves? Why are we letting shaitan get in there and whisper to us? Turn back to Allah with all of your sins and faults and ask Allah to help you and try to engage in those acts of worship that the Prophet, peace be upon him, told us and advised us to engage in like the five daily prayers and do those, try to do those to the best of your ability and you'll realize over time, all of those sins, all of those things that are bothering you, Allah would, inshallah, God willing, those would disappear. So keep these things in mind. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Till next time, take care.